So what is going on everybody and today I am here with another NBA 2K17 my league rebuild I wouldn't say this is a challenge, but it could be so it is going to be Rebuilding a legends fantasy draft here on Xbox one. This is the roster I'm using legends prime by professor 2k no doubles Alright guys, if you want to see more videos like this drop a thumbs up on the video Let's see if this video can get over 900 likes I know you guys can do it So smash that like button let me know in the comments other videos to do if you guys want to see another one of these And also let me know how you like these new formats with the face cam and stuff like that So to randomize this team in the fantasy draft, I'm just gonna close my eyes We're gonna look this way and I'm gonna open them and stop spinning in five four three two one and we get the Boston Celtics. Okay, so we're using the Celtics. Where are they going to be drafting? Um, ooh, okay. Not in the top 15, it looks like. Ah, uh, so you can see all the people that are going, guys. It's like an all-time team. So here we go. First pick. There is no salary cap in this. But I, I have a rule set where, like, of what free agents I could sign. I'll explain it later. So, Charles Barkley seems like the viable option here. He's the youngest guy. And he's part of the highest overall i don't want to take a 36 or 34 year old you know what i mean i could take steph curry but i'd rather have barkley is there anybody i'd rather have over barkley rick barry you know what i'm gonna take charles barkley with my first over or my first round pick and then we're gonna have uh a pick in 20 here so let's see second round pick i could still take steph curry or westbrook i might just go westbrook because he's a little bit younger and I think we're going to have plenty of scores on this team. And this guy could just do it all. I would like to get Jason Kidd. But let's snag some Russell Westbrook here in the second round. Let's go over here to the third round. See who we're going to be selecting. Uh, Grand Hill, Artis Gilmore, Paul George. We don't need a point guard or a power forward. Artis Gilmore sounds interesting. He's 27. Or we can get a Grand Hill. I'm going to take an artist Gilmore on this team. 7-2 center. We have a point right now, a power forward in the center. Fourth round pick, we're taking a small forward. We're taking Chris. Fifth round, the what could have been player of Brandon Roy. Round six, the ultimate sixth man, Jamal Crawford. Seventh round, Rashid Wallace, baby. Eighth round, Jeff Green. And I'll see you guys at the start of the regular season. All right, guys. So this is the rotation for season number one. We got Russell Westbrook, then Brandon Roy, Chris Mullen, Charles Barkley, our first round pick. Artis Gilmore, Jamal Crawford, Rashid Wallace, then Jeff Green, and then Muhammad Abdul Rauf. I hope I didn't butcher his name. So this is the rotation. We're only going in nine-man rotation. We have Greg Monroe, Darren Collison, Nene, Vince Carter. Coming off, uh, we're not getting any minutes for this team. So let's just see how we do in season number one, and we'll go on through there. But I'll explain it now, guys. If we don't make the playoffs, I can sign two free agents. If we make the playoffs, I can only sign one free agent. So that's how it goes in the offseason since there is no salary cap. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Now look who your MVP is after season number one. Allen Iverson AI for the Kings averages 27 points and 7.5 and assists. Ben Simmons gets rookie of the year still in uh, Memphis. Paul Millsap, 6th man of the year. Defensive player of the year. Bill Russell, 10, 11, and 3.5 and blocks. Jamie Lynn, all right, he gets most improved. And Dave Georgia of the Kings gets coach of the year. So any Celtics... You got AI, you got Oscar Robinson, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant, Shaq on all NBA first team, second team, you have Wade, Frazier, James, Barry, Mikan. I had a chance to draft, I think, Barry in the second round, but I passed on it. Now I'm kind of regretting it. There's Charles Barkley, 17.8, 11 boards, and two blocks, and also six assists. That is very, like, I'm proud of that. Like, I'll take that. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any Celtics. Overcase, second team only has four rookies. Okay. Um... Uh, I guess that's maybe how many are on teams. So we go 45 and 37, and we get a 60. We make the playoffs. Uh, who was the best team in the NBA? It was the Kings. Best team in the conference was the Hornets. Penny Hardaway, Tony Allen, because uh, they have KD, Mutombo, and Bob Bennett. That is filthy. Uh, we can check out the stats. Barkley, Westbrook put up 17, 6.8, and 7.7. .7. Mullen, 17 and 5. Gilmore, double double. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, Brandon Roy, 13 points. And Jamal Crawford, 10 and a half. I'm going to keep the rotation how it is. Who are we taking on in the first round? We got the Toronto Raptors. A nice division matchup. Let's see who's going to take it home. Uh, they got Shaq, Steve Nash, James Harden, and Ronald Test. That is filthy. And they also have a Brendan Rashid Wallace, it looks like. Rick Fox. Okay. We might be screwed here. Game one, or we'll just honestly see with the current round. Can we get the upset? We lose in five. Oh, do the Kings, are the Kings going to win it all? Let's see. Are the Kings going to win it all? And 
No, it's going to be the Magic, and Carl Malone is your finals MVP. All right, guys, for some reason, the Clippers want to do this trade. I'm getting a 33-year-old who's making 20 mil. There's no salary cap, so I don't care. BJ Armstrong is kind of a nasty contract for Darren Collison and um, Abdul Roof or Raouf. So we're getting a 90 overall Jerry Lucas on this team, which is pretty lit. Like, I'll take it. We're allowed to sign one free agent because we did make the playoffs. Uh, let's just grab a first-round pick. I don't care. So uh, do we even have a high pick in the draft? We have 18 from us. Let's just stay right over the draft. Like, we don't need to worry about that right now. So, let's go to team player options. Uh, Greg Monroe accepts his option. Fine, if you really want to come back. I want to see what free agent I'm going to be able to get. Qualifying offers, got none. Westbrook's a free agent. Okay. We cannot lose you. We cannot lose Russell Westbrook. He is a very key part to this team. Artis Gilmore, also someone we can't lose. Is he? Why can't we give him a no trade cause? I don't even know. Um... Of course, we don't have bird rights. Actually, we can't go for the cap, so I don't care about bird rights. Brandon Roy, I want to bring you back. Uh, Rashid Wallace, Steph Green, Nene, Vince Carter can go. So, free agents. Who am I signing? I think Dwayne Wade, guys. I think Dwayne Wade would be a clutch signing as we can use our one free agency spot on. Let's give him the most I can. I won't let me go any higher. And if not, a backup plan would be a nice Tracy McGrady. I would definitely take Tracy McGrady on this team. Uh, so if I can get one of them, that would be a steal. I'll take it. Um, Wade accepts another offer. Okay. And so does T-Max. So we lose out on both of them. Okay. I need a shooting guard, though. Manu Ginobili's 39. So let's go for Sidney Moncrief, a 92 overall. I think I would take him, uh, and I would be fine with it. Let's give him a no trade cause. Sidney Moncrief, welcome to the team. Rashid Wallace goes to the Grizzlies. So that's going to be for now, guys. I'll see you guys at the start of next year. Um, and I'm sure we're going to get Russell Westbrook. Come on, man. Come on, Russell Westbrook. What are you doing? Okay, wait. It said he accepted another offer, but nothing happened. Oh, my God. Hold on. We might have caught a break here. We might have caught a break here. Uh, 26 mil. Player option. You can't turn down this offer. And we get him. That is clutch. That is clutch. We are lucky. All right, guys. So, I uh, got over here into my rotation, and I realized that my center spot... We don't have Artis Gilmore. I forgot to re-sign him. That's an L. So we got to go out here on the trade finder and try to find a new center. That's like reasonable in getting. Like we could try to target one of these older guys. Um, it looks like it's going to be hard to get maybe one of them or not. I would trade Jerry Lucas because he is coming off the bench for us. So maybe I can get, uh, I can try to trade for Car um, Artis Gilmore again. But I'm trying to see what they're going to trade me for Bill Warren. I pressed trade finder and my game might have froze. Alright guys, we're sad we probably going to give up Jerry Lucas here. Um, and a first. Okay, it's gonna cost another first from us, probably. Uh, this game is really lagging on me right now. I will give you three first-round picks and Jerry Lucas for Artis Gilmore. There we go, guys. So, let's see the new and improved team. It is Westbrook, Moncrief, Moen, Barkley, Gilmore. The bench is nice with Roy, Crawford, Green. Monroe is nice. But, but yeah, we're just gonna go with six-man rotation. Uh, nine-man rotation, I should say. Uh, let me just edit these minutes, and yeah, so that's gonna be for me now, guys, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Alright, guys, so end of season number two, Oscar Robinson takes home MVP for the Trailblazers, who's averaging s about 17 points, almost 10 boards, 7.5 assists, so he's like, obviously what he was in the past, almost a triple-double machine. Uh, rookie of the year goes to Harry Giles on the Clippers, George McGinnis gets sixth man of the year in Golden State, Bill Russell, defensive player of the year, not really that many rebounds, I'm kind of surprised he won it. Most of player, Jared Sullinger, alright, and Michael Goodrich. Coach of the year for the Magic. We went 40 and 42, guys. You can see in the bottom right. A very disappointing year. I don't even see anybody on any awards. That's how bad it was. Yeah, we don't even make the playoffs. So I mean, I can sign two free agents in free agency, which is cool. Uh, yeah, bad. We got to make some moves in the offseason. And you'll see him in a bit. Westbrook, obviously, we're going to keep. I want him to be the point guard next year, and I want Barkley to be the power forward. I might look to get a new small forward instead of Chris Mullen, but we'll see, actually. Uh, see what I can get from him on the block. Artis Gilmore did really well. Sidney Moncrief did all right. I might try to move him or just put him on the bench on a new shooting guard, and we'll see. Yeah, because we have three shooting guards here. We don't need three. Uh, Jeff Green did all right, and like Greg Monroe. Yeah, so I'll be making moves. Don't worry. Let's just see who wins the NBA Finals and who wins Finals MVP. It is going to be the – is it going to be the Coach of the Year and Best Record Warriors? No, it is not. It is the Houston Rockets. Rick Barry is your Finals MVP. I probably should have drafted this guy in the second round, and now I will get it. All right, guys. I'm trying to trade Chris Mullen and two first-round picks for Rick Barry. Rick Perry's five star. It's probably going to be impossible to give him. Even though if I give up five first round picks and Chris Mullen, they won't even do it for Rick Perry. All right. So, Dominique Wilkins, I think I'd rather have him over Chris Mullen. Um, 
how many first round picks can I give up? Can I give you just two? No. I'll give you, honestly, I'll give you four first round picks. Really? They won't even do it for five? Let's see. Wow. Okay. Uh, John Havlicek. Would I rather have John Havlicek? I think I would over Chris Mullen. So let's try this. Um, I think this could work. No, hold on. Let me give up three. F okay, I'll give you guys the workload here. Five first round picks in Chris Mullen. If they don't do this, they do it. So welcome to the team, John Havlicek. You'll be the starting small forward next year. Um, let's simulate over the NBA draft once again. Let's just go to team player options, see what we got. I'm able to sign two free agents in free agency. It's lit. Jamal Crawford, I'm not going to bring you back. I'm not bringing back anybody there because we don't need any more shooting guards. Looks like there's going to be some quality free agents. We don't really have any big ones. Like Greg Monroe, I'll give you six mil if you want to be like a 14th man. Isaiah Thomas, you know what? Like, you got to go big or you got to go home. After day one of free agency, we got all four people I offer contracts to. I just got to pick. All right, out of the centers, I could either have David Robinson or I could have Luke Walton. And I got to make a decision if I'm going to start one of these guys next year. I think I'm going to go for David Robinson. Now, it's either between Elgin Baylor or Isaiah Thomas. And we have Westbrook. And I'm going to go Elgin Baylor here. So, I'm uh, not signing Isaiah Thomas or Bill Walton. So, so, those are my two free agents there, guys. And I'll see you guys at the start of the third season. All right, guys. I'm about to do something really quick here. I am moving John Havacek's position to a shooting guard. And he stays at a 95 overall. Because, guys, look at, this look at this rotation. Westbrook, 95. Havacek, 95. Beller, 95. Uh, Barkley 97 Robinson has gone down to a 92 which is kind of scary but this lineup is filthy guys I think we're gonna get a top three seed in these I'll see you guys at the end of season number three and hopefully we win a championship this year so end of season number three Shaquille O'Neal wins MVP kind of rhyming there uh, Michael Porter gets rookie of the year Joe Kim Noah six man Shaq also defensive player now that is what I'm talking about for a defensive player of the year not what Bill Russell's been doing that's some defensive stats right there uh, Josh Jackson most improved and Brad Stevens coach of the year Rico 68 and 14 not making the playoffs low-key helped us to get two free agents in free agency and that pretty much brought us to the playoffs signing those two guys and we got nobody on these awards um I guess the rookies consisted of Bucks and Grizzlies but all right uh I don't even know what to say let's just get into these playoffs best record in the NBA let's go let's go best record in the NBA 68 and 14 we should be going to the, like, we should win it all this year. If we don't, I'm going to get really upset. Westbrook, 14.6. Have a check, 14.7. Let me just edit the lineups uh, perfectly. So, we're going to go nine-man rotation. Crawford, you're getting eight. Roy, you're getting 16. Robinson, you're getting 20. Ooh, they're going to start uh, Gilmore now. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's get Gilmore 32 minutes then. Baylor, got to give him 35. Have a check, got to give him 35. Westbrook, got to give him 34. So, we're taking on the Knicks in the first round. Um, Isaiah Thomas. Okay, we had a chance to sign him, so maybe he wants some revenge. Moses Malone, Bob Cousy, and that, Kevin Love, Kenny Smith. We should get past them. We did win 27 more games than them, so if they beat us once, yeah. Taking on the Pistons, they got Clyde Trexler, Blake Griffin, George Jervin, Bill Walton, Jamon Green, Muggsy Bowes. This seems not too bad. Not too shabby for the Pistons, but we should get past them just fine. Of course, when I say that, they win game one. But we're here in the Easter Conference Finals to take on the fourth-seeded Hornets, who have Starberry babies, Stephon Marbury, Jimmy Butler, I almost drafted him, Bob Dandridge, uh, Bob Pettit, who's a very good player, Dikemi Mutombo, Penny Hardaway, Derek Favors, Giannis, Michael Cooper. All right, we should get past them, though. So let's just see my come around. Can we go to the Finals? Let's go. We go to the Finals here in Season number 3 to take on the Rockets, the reigning champs. And we sweep them. There we go, guys. We win a championship. And Charles Barkley, our first round pick, is your finals MVP. Almost average a triple-double. Not like that close, but it was up there. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this video. If you guys want to see another one of these, let me know in the comments or other types of videos. Like, like I said, let me know in the comments. And also, let me know what you guys think of this new format. Leave a thumbs up. Let's see this show get over 900 likes. That's it for me. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.